Hey folks, welcome back to new Power Automate video. And in this video, we are going to see how we can handle exceptions using Power Automate Cloud. Fine. So what is basically exception handling? So exception handling is a mechanism to handle runtime errors. So how we can handle runtime errors in Power Automate Cloud flows? We can handle exception using scope, using creating try, catch, and finally blocks. So what is try? So basically try is try block is used to enclose a section of code where you anticipate that error or exception might occur. Fine. And what is catch? So catch block is used to specify the action that should be taken when a particular type of exception error within the try block. And what is finally? So the finally block, block is used to define code that must be executed regardless of whether an exception occurred or not within the try block. So without wasting time, we are going to see how we can create exception handling or how we can create scopes in Power Automate Cloud Flows. So I am I, I do have a scenario where we can test this exception handling things. Okay, so I'm going to create a Power Automate flow and it will it will be an instant flow and I'm going to just like I'm just going to create manually trigger flow here from here and add an input fine. So what I'm going to add input so I do have a table of employees here and what I have columns here so I, we have three columns basically here which are mandatory so the columns name columns names are phone name and address yeah if I'm not wrong so we are going to insert a record from power automate to that dataverse table and if any um, exceptions occur then we are going to handle that exception using our try catch and finally block so I'm going to create a few like user input from here so like it will be a text input and it will be a name so what is your name fine and name sorry so please enter your name please enter your name here fine and there will be one more input and inputs will will be a word what is your address and question mark question mark please enter your address a w r e double s okay and one more input is a uh, phone. Uh, what is your phone? So I'm going to just copy and paste here. Here, what is your phone? Please enter your phone. Phone number like this. Fine. So now we have asked the user to enter three things, which is uh, what is your name? What is your address? What is your phone? Okay, now we are going to initialize a variable and initialize I N I initial we can just type here variable variable right initialize variable and the variable would be type of boolean. So the variable will be type of a string here and we are going to set it name as status status and status we are going to leave it blank here and now we are we will create here a try block so I'm going to just use scope and we'll add a scope from here and we will first we will rename it to try and we will add here a dataverse and add a new row and the table we have is employee employee okay 
and now we can see all three required fields now address name and phone so what we will do we will just map uh, here things whatever the user has input like I'm going to map address with address what is your address and name with name what is your name and phone with phone phone with phone what is your phone fine so I have mapped three things here and if this will be success uh, this step will success then we are going to set variable fine set variable and what we are going to set we are going to set a variable here and the where status and status would be success it means if it will success then definitely we will come to this um, this action and where we are just setting the variable to success and that's all about try blog here okay now I have saved the flow and now again I am using the scope for catch okay and now we are going to rename it to catch catch and now the tricky thing is uh, like what you need to configure you need to just click on three dots and just go to configure run after and what you need to do you need to just remove this is successful try and just you need to select this one has failed now if you will see this block will run or this scope will only run if try has failed now what we are going to do inside this catch we are just going to set a variable now set a variable you can do whatever you want in this catch but for example I am just setting uh, status setting set variable and I am just setting status variable and I am just setting status variable to failed fine and now I am again saving this flow now we will have one more scope which will be a finally scope and we will be then ready with our flow now I'm just going to create a new scope for finally scope and scope and what will be inside this scope so we are just going to compose one thing this is a tricky thing again so when this scope will run so we need to just configure run after again on clicking on these three dots and then click on run after and if catch successful or is skipped fine done and what we are going to do inside this uh, finally block let me just re rename it to finally fine first finally and what we are going to inside this finally block so we are going to just use compose but yeah whatever you want to do whatever in is in your scenario you can do uh, things in this finally or uh, catch block so you can just send an email you can update any record you can delete any record means whatever is in uh, whatever your business uh, required things here you can just do it in this power automate flow for but for me i'm just going to uh, write here status of this record is and I'm just going to add here what I'm going to add I'm just going to add here this variable var status now we will see how this uh, try catch works fine now I'm going to just run this flow I'm going to test manually and test so for first time we will enter all the things and then we will see what happened and again I'll just I, I won't enter phone or address or name something from these three but for first time I'm going to enter everything correct right so name is what is your name name is John 
John Snow. And what is your address? Address is G O T. And what is your phone? Nine zero four five four six four double zero two is your phone number. Now I'm going to just run flow. Fine. And your run successfully started. To monitor, go to the flow page. I'm just clicking on done. And now we can see here our flow ran successfully. Fine. So try and catch this catch block didn't run because our try scope ran successfully that is why this didn't didn't run uh, didn't run this catch catch scope but our finally block ran if we will, if we will go to the compose so we can see here the status of this record is success and if i will open here try block we can see here this data verse action this is also success the status of this one is success and then we are just setting this one so we are setting this one success this very good now see what will happen if i want a uh, pass any of the variable like please enter your name i'm not going to enter phone number fine so again john snow and enters is test and phone number i'm not going to pass phone number run flow oh so i'm just removing it required from here market optional market optional market option fine again i'm going to save here so basically i have just marked all of all these three are required so without entering these three data flow cannot proceed further so i'm just again john and test and i'm not passing this time mobile number just run flow our run rain successfully flow rain successfully now we can see here this try block fade this catch lock rain now if we will see inside this we just set the variable to fail and if we will go to the finally block we can see here the compose and we can see here status of this record is fail so this is how we can uh, we can create try catch and finally block in power automate cloud and we can handle runtime exceptions so that's all about uh, exception handling in power automate uh, cloud so that's all from my side guys please do like this video subscribe our channel and have a great rest of build guys Thank you. Bye-bye. We will meet in our next video. Bye.